guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be my christmas house tour so if you guys missed it i did just upload yesterday my christmas clean and decorate with me so i will leave that video linked down below just in case you guys have not already watched that but today i'm just gonna be taking you guys around my house and showing you guys the complete look on how i decided to go ahead and decorate my house this year for christmas so let's go ahead and jump right into today's christmas house tour Hey guys and welcome to my 2019 Christmas house tour. So I'm starting off in my living room showing you guys my Christmas tree. So my Christmas tree doesn't look the best just because the ornaments have to be put up pretty high because my daughter likes to take the ornaments down. But these are just a few of my cute ornaments that I have on the tree. I have a lot of the kids ornaments like these handprints. I also have one that Ryan made in preschool. This is the glass one that Ryan made about two years ago when he was in preschool. And these are my favorite little ornaments they have the best memories so i always make sure to put those on the christmas tree as well and then i have our family little ornaments as well as two ornaments that my sister gave me that i'm obsessed with and they are both little angels <music> On my small kitchen bar area, I have a few things that I bought from the Target's dollar spot last year. So I have a wooden sleigh with some bottle brush Christmas trees. I have some silver and gold ones. They have a ton of glitter on it. I love them. The only thing I hate is the fallout for the glitter is ridiculous. And then I also have a white wooden joy sign with some lights. Now moving on to my living room area. This is how I set everything up. So I don't have too much, but I do have a few things. So I have some Christmas pillows and these Christmas pillows are from Target's Dollar Spot and also Walmart. So the Joy one, large one behind, was in a pack of two and that was from Walmart. And then the In the House We Believe is from Target as well as the Merry Christmas one. And then that Reindeer one is a Christmas DIY that I actually made this year. And in this glass hurricane, I do have some Dollar Tree Christmas flowers. I'm thinking about going to get some new flowers, but for now, I just put those. Those are the ones I've had the past two years. And I think everything else is pretty much from Target's Dollar Spot other than this candle that I got from Aldi's. But all these little knickknacks are from Target's Dollar Spot. And then the little mini wreath I'm going to show you guys on my mirror is actually a DIY that I made also from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I filmed that one. I'm going to try to find all my Christmas DIYs for you guys in a link them down below just in case you guys are interested in seeing them and then on my fireplace mantle i just have some pre-lit garland and a little santa claus the little santa claus on the fireplace that's sitting up there i got from tj maxx and then that one that was down on the floor i i think i bought from Publix like four years ago and now moving on to my kitchen i only have two things on my bar area which is a wooden believe sign and then i also have a silver mary sign and those i bought from the target's dollar spot last year i'm not sure if they have them out this year or not and then of course i had to have my mrs meyer's holiday snowdrop scent it smells amazing and i need to get some more i also have this wooden little it's like a glitter wooden christmas bulb i bought that from target and just use it as like a little centerpiece of course with a christmas candle that i lit it is the tuscany brand and i bought that from kroger they have some really great scents out right now then over here in the corner i have a countdown for the kids and then i have this little cute ceramic reindeer i bought this year from target's dollar spot and like i said i do have a christmas countdown i also bought from target's dollar spot for the kids i also found this this year as well it says made with love mrs claus and I just use that for like a spoon holder in the kitchen and then these are just some old kitchen towels from Target Cellar Spot as well as this sign and some more bottle brush Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. 
Over here in this corner, I have a Happy Holiday signs, and that was bought from Walmart. And then this snowman wreath was another Christmas DIY I did maybe about three years ago. Now moving over to my dining room table, I really don't have much. I do have a few of these placemats I bought this year, last week actually, from Home Goods. And then I also have this cute little reindeer so I also got from Home Goods, as well as just a little glass vase with some Christmas ornaments. And then the last area in the house I decorated was was my staircase and I just wrapped it in this pre-lit garland. This pre-lit garland went on like 75% off at Walmart about two years ago and I stocked up on them because they were originally $20 each. All right guys, so that is going to end my Christmas house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I showed you guys how I decided to decorate this year for Christmas. I know I've mentioned this a million times, but I would love to eventually transfer over to all like neutral colors, but right now that's not in the budget. So I just pretty much used all the decor I already had on hand. A few things I did buy this year, but honestly it was maybe only like five or six very small items that I bought all from Target's dollar spot. Everything else is stuff that I have had from over the years. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.